Can you imagine the world after a nuclear war? A world scarred by the devastating power of nuclear weapons, humanity grappling with its potential undoing. These weapons born out of the darkest corners of human ingenuity have forever cast a shadow on our existence. Today our world is on a precipice. The ever-looming threat of nuclear armament remains a stark reality, a chilling testament to our capacity for destruction. So, let's delve into the history of these devastating weapons and their potential future. The Atomic Age began in the deserts of New Mexico, USA in 1945. With these words, we step into an era that forever altered the course of human history. It was a time when science, politics, and war converged to unleash a power that could both create and annihilate. In the throes of the Second World War, a secret project was underway. Named the Manhattan Project, this endeavor brought together some of the brightest minds of the era. Their mission? To harness the power of the atom and transform it into a weapon of unparalleled force. The project's success was shrouded in secrecy, but its impact would soon reverberate across the globe. July 16, 1945, marked a pivotal moment in this journey. In the pre-dawn darkness of the New Mexico desert, the world's first atomic bomb test, codenamed Trinity, was conducted. The blinding flash and mushroom cloud that followed signaled the birth of a new age. The atomic age had dawned, and with it came a power that could level cities and end lives in an instant. The true scale of this power was first witnessed not in a desert, but in the bustling cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan. In August 1945 the United States dropped two atomic bombs, forever searing the images of destruction into the annals of human history. In an instant entire cities were reduced to rubble, and countless lives were lost. The world had seen the devastating potential of nuclear weapons, but the atomic age was not merely an era of destruction. It also marked the birth of nuclear power, a force that could be harnessed for the betterment of society. The same energy that powered these devastating bombs could also fuel our cities, power our industries, and push the boundaries of scientific exploration. These events mark the dawn of a new era, an era of nuclear power and the potential for unprecedented destruction. The birth of the atomic age was a double-edged sword. It offered humanity the promise of limitless energy, but it also presented us with the terrifying prospect of our own annihilation. It was a time of great promise and peril, a time that forever changed the world and continues to shape our present and future. The Cold War era saw an intense competition between superpowers, a race not for gold, but for nuclear superiority. This was a time marked by intense political and military tension between the United States and the Soviet Union, a rivalry that extended to a dangerous contest over nuclear power. The seeds of this nuclear arms race were sown at the end of World War II, when both nations emerged as superpowers, each possessing the devastating power of atomic weaponry. The competition was on, not just on ideological fronts, but also in the realm of technological prowess and military strength. Nuclear weapons became the ultimate symbol of power and deterrent against aggression. Major milestones in this race included the testing of increasingly powerful nuclear weapons. The United States detonated the first hydrogen bomb in 1952, only to be followed by the Soviet Union a year later. These tests escalated the stakes, raising the specter of mutual assured destruction. One of the most significant flashpoints during this period was the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. The Soviet Union had positioned nuclear missiles in Cuba, just 90 miles off the American mainland. For 13 nerve-wracking days, the world watched, holding its breath, as the two superpowers teetered on the brink of nuclear war. Thankfully, disaster was averted through a tense process of negotiation, but the incident served as a chilling reminder of the potential for nuclear conflict. However, it wasn't all about competition. The Cold War also saw efforts to control the arms race. Treaties like the Partial Test Ban Treaty in 1963 and the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks in the 70s aimed to limit nuclear proliferation and testing, providing some checks on this dangerous race. The end of the Cold War didn't signal the end of nuclear weaponry, but rather a shift in the global nuclear landscape. The fall of the Berlin Wall and the dissolution of the Soviet Union marked the end of the Cold War, but the nuclear arms race was far from over. Today, we live in a world where multiple nations possess nuclear capabilities, continuing to shape the global balance of power. Today, nine countries possess nuclear weapons, but the threat extends beyond these nations. The modern nuclear landscape is a complex and volatile one. In total, 
there are around 13,700 nuclear warheads in existence today. That's a number that's difficult to comprehend, but each one of these warheads holds the potential for unparalleled destruction. The United States and Russia are the two major nuclear powers, collectively holding over 90% of the world's nuclear warheads. These two nations have a long history of nuclear tension dating back to the Cold War, and despite numerous treaties and agreements, their nuclear arsenals remain alarmingly large. In addition to the US and Russia, seven other countries have nuclear weapons. The United Kingdom, France and China are all recognized nuclear weapon states under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. India, Pakistan and North Korea have also openly tested and declared they have nuclear weapons, while Israel is widely believed to have nuclear capabilities, although it maintains a policy of ambiguity. However, the threat of nuclear weapons doesn't stop at these nine nations. The risk of nuclear terrorism is an ever-present concern in our interconnected world. Non-state actors, such as terrorist organizations, could potentially acquire nuclear materials and technology. This is a chilling prospect as these groups operate outside the bounds of international law and diplomacy. A nuclear attack by a non-state actor would be a catastrophic event, causing unthinkable devastation and loss of life. Furthermore, the proliferation of nuclear technology and knowledge poses an additional risk. More countries now have the capability to develop nuclear weapons than ever before. While many have committed to nuclear disarmament through international treaties, the potential for nuclear proliferation remains a significant concern. As we navigate this complex, modern nuclear landscape, it's crucial that we continue to promote nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation. Through international cooperation and diplomacy, we can work towards a world free from the threat of nuclear weapons. The reality is, the world is still under the shadow of nuclear weapons, with the potential for catastrophe at a scale we can hardly imagine. The consequences of a nuclear war are beyond devastating. Imagine, if you will, the immediate aftermath of a nuclear detonation. In a flash, cities become ground zero, with buildings reduced to rubble and lives extinguished in an instant. But the immediate destruction is just the beginning. The loss of life is staggering with the death toll reaching into the millions. The survivors, if any, face a grim future of radiation sickness, starvation and a world forever changed. But the devastation extends far beyond the blast radius. The environment suffers as well. Nuclear fallout contaminates the air, land and water, rendering vast areas uninhabitable for decades if not centuries. This fallout doesn't respect borders or nationalities, it spreads globally, affecting everyone and everything in its path. And then comes the nuclear winter. This is not a winter of snowflakes and holiday cheer, it's a chilling scenario where the sun's rays are blocked by the soot and dust, thrown up by the nuclear explosions. The result? A drastic drop in global temperatures, leading to crop failure and mass starvation on an unprecedented scale. But it's not just about the physical destruction. A nuclear war would also lead to societal collapse. Imagine a world where government structures crumble, where law and order become mere concepts of a bygone era. In such a scenario, survival becomes the only law, and humanity may very well regress to its primal instincts. These are the unthinkable consequences of a nuclear war. It's a terrifying picture, isn't it? It's a world none of us would want to live in, let alone leave for future generations. And yet this is not the product of a wild imagination or a dystopian novel. It's a potential reality, a consequence of the choices we make today. The aftermath of a nuclear war is not just a scene from a dystopian movie, it's a potential reality we must work to avoid. Nuclear war isn't a remote possibility, it's a pressing concern. As we've come to understand through our journey in this video, the history of nuclear weapons is one steeped in fear, power, and a race for global dominance. The birth of the atomic age marked a turning point in human history, bringing forth a new era of warfare and potential destruction. Throughout the Cold War the world held its breath as superpowers amassed arsenals capable of wiping out human civilization multiple times over. Even today, amidst changing political landscapes and technological advancements, the specter of nuclear conflict remains unsettlingly present. The modern nuclear landscape is complex and fraught with tension. Numerous countries possess nuclear weapons, and the potential for their use, whether intentional or accidental, is a constant threat. This, coupled with the rise of non-state actors and the possibility of nuclear terrorism, only adds to the urgency of addressing this issue. The unthinkable consequences of nuclear war are not just the immediate devastation and loss of life. 
the aftermath would bring about a nuclear winter, disrupting global climate and agriculture, and leading to a worldwide famine. This is a scenario that no nation can win. The only winning move in the game of nuclear war is not to play. The choice ultimately is in our hands. Let's remember the power of the atom can be harnessed for the benefit of all, or it can lead to our collective downfall. The future is indeed up to us.